I make videos for the eSysman channel, I get a lot of questions about how, how I produce these videos. Like, what kind of camera do I use? What kind of drone do I use? Um, how do I actually get access to the marinas? So what I thought I'd do is I would um, talk about that a little bit. Um, it's not just a case of, you know, walking into the marina and taking out the camera and start filming. Sometimes it is. Uh, more often though, it's, it's, it's not that easy because there are lots of things to take into consideration. Most of the yachts take this privacy very seriously. So um, what I try to do is be as discreet as possible. Well, the best way to discuss it is, is if I take a recent video that I've made, and I talk about how I produced that video. That, that's probably the easiest way for me to do it. So recently I was in Barcelona. I was there for a yacht show and this was like a broker's yacht show. As far as I'm aware, it was not open to the public. So anyway, I, I go in there and I'm, I'm, I'm crew, I'm, I'm, I'm on a yacht. Just to compound it, nobody on the yacht knows that I film on the channel. So I have that and I like that because I don't like to get I don't want all the crew to be watching my videos, you see. So as soon as I got in, as soon as we arrived, I saw Faith and I saw N Naya and I thought that's where I'm going to focus my attention. Day one, I, I went out and did some recon. Where we were docked was, was the opposite side of the marina in Port Vell in Barcelona. The first evening I took my camera back, I w had a walk over and just had a look around. And um, I was challenged uh, as I walked down that um, stretch of the marina. Uh, I showed my, I, I, luckily I had a pass and I was allowed to go on my way. Uh, I had a, look, had a walk around. I could see that there was a public path outside. So I decided to leave the marina and because I thought well if I can film from the public side of the marina that's great because then I don't have to show any ID. I'm not going to get challenged. I didn't want that to happen. So if whenever possible, I, I'll go and film in a public area. And I shot some B-roll and, uh, and some of the radar dome shots and stuff like that. But the best access for me, it was very busy out there with a lot of people. So on day two, I went back into the marina, was challenged again as I went in, showed my ID. And then I walked down to Faith. So what I do is I, 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 I stand with the, with the yacht behind me and I take out, I don't use my camera because it's, it's a big camera. I use a, a Canon 80D. So I use my iPhone. So I, I put the yacht behind me and I have the iPhone in front of me, obviously using the forward facing camera. And I have a Lavellia mic uh, and, um, and it's connected to the phone, uh, but then the, the yacht's behind me. So if anybody from the yacht looks down, they just see a guy and they think he's probably doing a FaceTime call or something like that and it's, it's quite discreet. So that's the way I like to film. All right, guys, so look what we have behind me. So this is uh, Moti Up Faith. The, the problem with the iPhone, I mean, the cameras on iPhones are fantastic, don't get me wrong. The problem with the forward-facing iPhone is it doesn't have any image stabilization. So when you hold up that phone, if you're holding it handheld, it's kind of shape. So I, so I did my piece. So uh, Lauren Strong had another vessel before this one. He had another one, it was also called Faith. It was originally called Cakewalk. I went back to the boat, had a look at the footage, wasn't completely happy with it. So on day three, I want to get some drone footage. Purely by luck, are these boats still there? I mean, they could have left at any moment. And I would normally try to get all of this done in one day, but it was just not possible. You have to shoot at certain times of the day so the footage isn't too bright. If you try and shoot at lunchtime, it's not really, it doesn't really work for me. So I have to shoot in the evening usually, or very early in the morning. So I take the drone up to the bow of my of the boat I'm on, and I um, I do some checks in the software, and I check on, a, on an application called uh, AirMap, and then I put the drone up in the air, and I, and I got some nice shots. You've got to be so careful as well in the marinas because you have a lot of sailing yachts, and they have these massive masts, and um, the, even though the drone I have, which is a, a well now I have a Mavic 2. Uh, Pro. I used to have a Mavic Pro and it is such an improvement on the previous one. The camera is fantastic. You've got to be super careful, super quick. You know, you've got crew that might be taking an interest. Some of the yachts now have this anti-drone technology. You've got to be super careful about that. So I basically flew the drone for maybe five minutes. When I upload a, a video to YouTube, I, I, I upload it in 1080. So it's, uh, 1080 is full high definition, 
4K is four times 1080 basically. So I'm shooting four times the definition of what I'm gonna upload to YouTube. Most, most reason why I do that is because I'm often uploading on a yacht um, or I'm uploading using my Wi-Fi on my phone and I have limited amount of data and if I was to do 4K, it would not, it would just wouldn't work. And then the footage that I take from it, then I can increase the size of this footage by up to four times. And then I can, I can position it in my editing software. And, and, then it, and then I've got a four times zoom on top of the zoom that's already in the camera. So I've, I've been able to, some of the footage that I, was, that I used of Faith and Naya was super zoomed in and the quality of it is just fantastic. So that's a very exciting development as far as the drone, the aerial footage goes. While I was out on deck flying my drone, I realized it was a great opportunity to reshoot the intro and some of the talking points that I'd made, which I wasn't very happy with. So I just sat up on the bow, got in a similar position with the boat in the background, and then I started recording. In the video, when you first see me, I'm, I'm sat with Faith in the background there, across the marina, I'm actually sat on the bow of my boat. It's 96 meters, not quite 100 meters. I also, uh, as we came into the marina in the yacht that I was working on, as we came in, I also had my, my iPhone and I just videoed as we moved along. So, so we passed all, most of the yachts and I just, I just filmed static. And as we passed by, I got some really nice shots of all of the yachts docked next to each other. Uh, one of the one of the other shots of the of the faith video, the very first shot is a shot of of, of the camera moving, and it's moving past the holes of these vessels. And there's a speed ramp, and then it slows down again, and then it reveals faith, which is docked in the in the marina, and that basically was shot as uh, I went out in the in my yacht's tender, and we went in the opposite direction. We went from faith, and then in in editing in post, I dropped that into the into the timeline and then I flipped the video so it was running backwards. Uh, and I added a speed ramp to give that effect, the dramatic reveal effect of the yacht. And that's how I got that initial shot. I hope you found this interesting. Let me know what you think. Um, if you've got any questions, put them down in the comments. And if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell as well so uh, you get notifications when a new video comes up. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.